Welcome to another episode of Chopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin and today is day five here in Sri Lanka. If you didn't check out the previous episode, hit the link down in the description box. We took you to a local's home here in Sri Lanka to have a famous lotus leaf meal. Traditionally, they will wrap the lotus leaf up, leave it for maybe a couple hours just to let those flavors really seep into that rice and almost marinate. Today we are in the countryside of Sigiriya, sort of central Sri Lanka, and we have an exciting episode planned. We're at a local's home here and they have a farm close to here. So we're going to go over, pick some fresh uh, fruit and vegetables, and we're going to cook up another home cooked meal. It's going to be an exciting day and there's more than that just planned, so stay tuned and let's go uh, meet the family now. So we're just taking a tour of the family's home. It is very rustic, very uh, village type home, but very friendly family. They're making some tea over a uh, wood fire and she's using kind of a pipe to blow um, some air into it to keep that flame burning. <laughs> really cool, it smells really nice. Thank you. Okay, photos, this good. Whoa. They have just offered us a string hopper filled with coconut and honey and just look inside you can see that it's going to be quite sweet and they said just eat it right away so I'm going to try it. Mm. Mm. Oh wow, it's almost like a crunchy honey inside, almost like it's sugar. That's delicious. So we're having a nice little breakfast with the string hopper, sweet string hopper, and then we've got some uh, black Ceylon tea served in a coconut, which is so cool. Oh, oh yeah, that is my type of way to start the day. A little sweet, a little bit of tea. Mm. So good, so cool too. This is such a cool opportunity to explore the family's home. Very traditional style of living. So now we will go with one of the local women to the farm to uh, pick some vegetables. She has a basket here which we'll collect them in. And we're gonna go, it's just a hundred meters walk from here. So we were just walking kind of through the jungle to their farm slash garden. It is absolutely beautiful here. We are right by a lake and you can hear the cicadas uh, in the trees. Lots of beautiful vegetation. The weather's actually not so hot today, which is really nice. It's beautiful here, yeah, it's isn't it? beautiful and just like listen to the sound. We're out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is uh, the real deal. This is some real rural life and I am loving it. So they have several different types of crops here. We just picked some fresh tomatoes and some fresh peppers. And what's this? Oh, long beans. Long bean, yeah? Okay. I think we're just about finished picking the fresh vegetables. They have a lot of variety here. We picked um, a couple different types of beans, 
we pick some eggplant, uh, all kinds of different things. We've got a whole bundle here. Look at this. Wow. That was so cool. And the ladies are extremely friendly. All of those ingredients I know are gonna taste delicious. They're just um, growing them organically right on the side of the lake. Doesn't get uh, much better than that in terms of produce. So you can see behind me here, the woman has a long pole and up on top of this tree, there are some jackfruit. So there's kind of a gaff, uh, like a sharp blade at the end of it. And she's gonna cut the jackfruit off. <laughs> wow. <laughs> So we just brought all the fresh vegetables and the jackfruit back to the home and now she's going to cut it up so we can start to prepare the dishes for later today. So the women just used an ax to break the jackfruit up into a couple big chunks and then they got this new device which is kind of a stool that she can sit on but it also has a knife that comes out from the inside. Now she's using that knife to cut the jackfruit into smaller pieces and remove the seeds, kind of cleaning the jackfruit. The jackfruit that we have here is going to be used for a jackfruit curry and it's just amazing to watch these women work. They clearly know what they're doing and have done this many times before. So they're actually removing the seed and then chopping the fresh fruit into smaller pieces. This is a mature jackfruit. We have been offered a piece of the jackfruit all cut up and uh, it's raw, it's uncooked and I've never tried it this way before. So I'm gonna give it a shot. They told us eat it. So just break a little piece. Mm. Mm. Wow. It's meaty, it's very meaty, even uncooked. And it's got like a, a flavor between like a durian and a guava, but it's quite light, no stinkiness, nothing like that, very tasty. Mm. We're just picking a lime from her lime tree fresh, and uh, this is gonna go right into our curry. Great. <laughs> So it is now time to start cooking the jackfruit curry. We are in the kitchen. She's preparing the other ingredients for the curry and she's using that same stool with the knife on it. I've never really seen that been used anywhere else and she's so skillful at using it. It's really incredible. So she just freshly cracked a coconut for me and uh, gave me a sample of the water. Oh yeah, very sweet, so good. So in that same tool box stool, she also has a coconut scraper. So she gave us the water to drink and now they're going to take the flesh for the curry. Freshly grated coconut. There's nothing better than this, honestly. It's so good. So they just started a fire in order to cook the curry and just finishing off with the grinding of the coconut behind me. So the next step after grinding the coconut is to make the coconut milk. She just mixes a little bit of water and then strains it through her fingers in order to make that white thick coconut milk which will go really nicely with that jackfruit for the curry. So included in the jackfruit curry, she's using onions, garlic, pandan leaves, curry leaves, and then a couple different spices, cinnamon, 
uh, chili flakes, turmeric, and curry powder. Thank you. So I'm getting a taste of the jackfruit curry here. Let's try it. Oh, very good. Oh, it's very, very good. A little bit of heat. You can definitely taste that jackfruit and it's a little bit sweet too. So good. Besides the jackfruit curry, they're also making quite a few other dishes with all of those fresh vegetables that we picked this morning. They also have some lake fish. We're going to let the women cook away and explore their property a little bit. This little community village is so cool. It's called Palvahera, and it's just on the outskirts of Sigaria, and there's some local village kids playing here. <laughs> so the curries are finished, and we're going to be eating the curries with roti, so they're going to start prepping the roti now. I'm going to learn how to actually create the roti, so flattening it out. I saw her flattening it like this. Use the flour. You know what I Right, putting it on the pan here. Good. Good, very good. So we have two different types of roti. The first is made with wheat flour and coconut, and the second is made with red millet and coconut. Just a little bit of water, all handmade, and then put on a burning hot plate over top of that wood fire, and then fried up to a crisp. One other thing to note about the process of making this full meal, there was absolutely no plastic waste produced or really any waste for that matter. They're using all uh, reusable tools, banana leaves. So I believe that was the last step. The rotis are finished, all the curries are finished and it's time to eat. So we're actually going to have dinner here in this hut behind me. This is made out of mud, you can see right here and it has a thatched roof quite a large dining room. I'd have to say that this is the most real and authentic village experience I've ever had. Absolutely so. The food looks so good. We are all very hungry. We're gonna sit down in the mud hut and have our meal. For the roti, you can just break it into pieces. Okay. So the time has come, we are sitting down in the mud hut and we have all of the different dishes. It is absolutely beautiful. Look at this spread here. We've got so many different colors going on. So I've got a little bit of white rice, of course, but I wanted to save room to try the rotis as well. So we have the two different types of roti, the red millet and then the uh, wheat. Underneath the roti, I've got a, a salad with uh, coconut and pennywort. Over here, this is the capsicum, those uh, peppers that we picked from the garden earlier with all kinds of different spices and coconut milk. This is a salad with uh, coconut once again and tomatoes. Here are those long beans covered with some chili and I can see little curry leaves in there as well. This is the a lake fish curry, which supposedly is quite spicy. And then this is what I am looking forward to trying the most, the jackfruit. And check that out, there is all kinds of things going on in there. It looks really creamy. I'm just gonna go in right away and try some of this jackfruit with a little bit of rice. Oh man, I can feel that that is gonna be so creamy. Look at that. Wow, let's try it. Mm -hmm. Wow, the taste is slightly sweet, very coconutty. And it's not spicy. They didn't put very much chili powder in there whatsoever. But the texture of that jackfruit is what makes that so incredibly good. It's a little bit starchy, almost like a potato, but it's also almost meaty at the same time, like chicken. It has an incredible texture. You can see there's just like chunks of jackfruit in there and it is so ridiculously creamy with all that coconut milk. Oh man, this is so good. 
straight from the garden, fell off the tree this morning. Oh, wow, that's incredible. That is so, so good. So I'm gonna rip a little bit of the roti, the wheat roti off first and try it with these uh, peppers. These look really good too. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Those peppers definitely have a little bit of heat to them, but the flavor of the pepper is so strong. It's like a bell pepper concentrated down. I'm gonna try the uh, red millet roti next with a little bit of these long beans, which look like they're covered in quite a bit of chili. Mmm. Mmm. That roti has a completely different texture. It's much more dense and it feels a lot more hearty. Those long beans still crisp, a little bit spicy, but not too spicy. Actually, nothing that I've tried so far has been too spicy. Let me break a little bit of this off. And this is our only, I believe this, yeah, this is the only non-veg dish on the plate with a little bit of rice here. Mmm. Mmm. Yep, let's get some heat to it. Oh yeah, it's a building spice. Wow. That is good too. So I've skipped over a couple things. I want to try this uh, this salad here with some tomatoes, onions, and uh, some spices. Mm. Mm. Those are the freshest tomatoes I've ever had. They're so sour and sweet at the same time. So I've got one more salad underneath all of these roti, the pennywort with, it looks like some onions and uh, quite a bit of tomato too. Or sorry, quite a bit of coconut. Mmm, mmm. They must have sprinkled quite a bit of lime juice on top of that, because that has a nice sour kick. That is a nice salad, but I gotta give it up. It's gotta go for this, this jackfruit curry. That jackfruit is just phenomenal. It really is like nothing I've ever had before. Oh, and I almost forgot the seeds of the jackfruit. Let me try one of those. Mmm, mmm, mmm. It kind of almost tastes like an almond. It's definitely a little bit crunchy, but you can tell it's been cooked in that curry because it's lost its hardness. It's still firm, but it's definitely not as soft as that jackfruit. Oh man, you just mix this all together, grab a couple of different things. These peppers are so good too. Everything's got slight coconut flavor. You can taste the garlic, you can taste the curry, the fenugreek, cinnamon, it's all in there. Oh yeah, oh yeah, this was worth the wait. So if you have ever thought for one moment that vegetarian food wasn't flavorful, it's because you've never been to Sri Lanka. <laughs> because let me tell you, there was only one dish with uh, meat, the, the fish, the lake fish dish. But even without that, the flavors are just so strong. So many spices, coconut, rich. Yeah, you're, you're missing, if you're a vegetarian and you haven't visited Sri Lanka, you are missing yeah, out. Come here. Yeah. Yeah, you do not need meat here. I need with husk. Remove the husk now. So the women here just do not stop. We were served lunch and they started milling the rice. The same rice that we were eating with our lunch, uh, they are removing the husk with sort of a mortar and pestle, but the way that she does it is quite unique. She kind of lets it bounce off of the uh, mortar, back up into her hand, and then uses this uh, bamboo weave. I believe it's like a bamboo, uh, I'm not sure what to call it, like a fan that she kind of works the rice to remove the husk completely. And then when she's finished that, you have the actual grain of rice without the husk around it. Wow, that was an experience, life-changing meal. I gotta say, the flavors there, have to make it in the top five of the best foods of my life. Sri Lanka is the next big culinary destination in my opinion. All of these hearty village meals, that, because the fruit or the vegetables are so fresh, it's just so filling and so hearty. You just wanna sleep after, but we're not gonna do that. We're heading actually now over to another hut right here to have some dessert. I think they've got some fruit for us. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> bye bye.
We've come down to the lake. There are a couple locals swimming. Some of them are bathing. There's lots of wildlife, lots of birds. I think we're just gonna put our feet in. I don't wanna get completely in the water because we still have a couple things we're going to do today. I don't wanna be soaking wet, but there's a nice little rocky area. I'll go put my feet in. We are back from the lake. That was really refreshing, nice little relax. And we're back to this mud hut. But right beside this mud hut, there is a tree house, which apparently we're going to climb up. And I think they've got some snacks for us here too. Where did the corn come from? So right behind me here, they are boiling some local corn using wood and also coconut husks. The smell of the wood fire smells so good and that corn is bright yellow. It's gonna be delicious. You can see that this thing is built extremely sturdy. It's tied off really strong here and it's quite high up as well. So apparently the farmers will climb up in these tree houses to keep a watch over their crops in order to keep the elephants in this region. There's quite a bit of elephants and they wanna keep them away from the crops because they will completely destroy it. So they'll climb up at nighttime just to keep their eyes out. Check out how tall this thing is too. The ladies just found some cassava. Cassava here. Look at the Oh, watermelons. So actually we've been told that we need to finish our snack pretty quickly before the sun goes down completely because at night it's not necessarily safe to be up in the treehouse because there are a lot of elephants and other animals around here that could be dangerous. Okay. All right, we're all up in the treehouse, sitting down for our final snack of the day. We have some boiled corn. She poured a little bit of salt water on top. So here you go, take one. Thank you. It smells really Thank good. Thank you, it smells amazing. Mm, that color. And look how yellow it is. Yeah. It's, it's not like the peaches and cream kind. It's just pure yellow all the way through. It looks yeah. perfect. It, look, it looks perfect. It yeah, every look kernel perfect. is uniform. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah. Mm. Mm. It's sweet, and then with that salt water, mm. a little bit of saltiness. Uh huh. Mm. Oh, that's awesome. I think it tastes even better because we're in a treehouse. Mm -hmm. mm. The cheese in it too. Looks cool. Hmm? The cheese in it too. Oh, I know. Yeah. It's really, very yummy. Mm. We're finished off with our corn, and now finishing off the day with some herbal tea served in a coconut shell once again, and a little chunk of jaggery this unrefined palm sugar. Mm. Mm. Oh, it almost has a fruitiness to the jaggery. Mm. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's not a regular black tea whatsoever. It's definitely some mixture of herbs. Mm. them? One more thing, this is the cassava cooked directly in the fire. Oh yeah, soft. Splash mm. you. Yeah, yeah, you see that? It's rocks. Yeah, the You don't. We just climbed down from the treehouse. We are super full. That was some hearty vegetables, delicious. But really, that was all about the experience, sitting up there with the family, with my friends. Just absolutely heartwarming. And I'm so grateful for this opportunity.
So that is going to be it. The sun is coming down. They said they spotted an elephant here only about a few weeks ago or yeah. a month ago. So we don't want to hang out around. Yeah, we got to get out of here. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want to be here too late. But that was absolutely incredible. I want to uh, let the people from Tourism Board of Sri Lanka know that we are extremely grateful. This was an incredible opportunity and thank you so much for sponsoring our trip here. This country has absolutely blown our minds. It's beautiful, diverse, rich in culture extremely delicious cuisine yeah. and some of the friendliest people in the entire world yes yeah so today awesome let us know down in the comment box what you thought of the meal we had today or let us know what your favorite thing we did in today's episode was and we will see you again very soon so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already hit the bell icon you'll get notified when we post a video see you next time bye bye bye